I don't want to say the safe is haunted, but uh, cursed? Uh, maybe. maybe bedeviled? Beguiled. And what do we do with cursed or beguiled things? We bring them to the killing pit. Yo, people need to know the whole story. We shot an entire episode. Entire episode. Entire episode. Entire episode. Entire episode. Entire episode. Do you know what the number one in my mental file under safe cracking is? What's up? The Price is Right game. Oh, this really? Is the one with the six digits to get the car. When Bob Barker has got got the gun to the guy's head, and he's like, "Crack the safe, and don't forget to neuter and spay your pets." <laughs> So when I think of safe cracking, I actually don't think of it as a 21st century phenomenon. To me, it's perpetually in the early 20th century. It always involves putting in a stethoscope and listening as, as your tender fingers uh, click clack around. Right, well that's the romanticized version, right? That's, it's something that's been uh, memorialized throughout pop culture history. Safes have come a long way since then. Those skills still exist, but one of the techniques for opening this safe, this is an electronic safe, is dropping it, which apparently is one of many methods to open something like okay, this. Okay, so there's a number of these smaller safes, some of them designed just to hold on to your passports or whatever, and they are shockingly easy to open. We did two of them on hacking the system. There was one safe that was an electronic safe, but if you wrapped it right on top at just the right timing, you hit it and crank the handle, pop right open. Similar to how bump keys work. Bump keys have a bunch of teeth and as they come in they scrape the lock and then when you wrap it it kicks up all the pins just for that microsecond that's enough for you to open up the lock but there are other vulnerabilities as well for example we did a segment on hotel safes and many of them need to be reset from time to time back to the default code of 0000 using the dowel rod yes so in the hotel safes they would put a red button right here the idea being that you hit it to reset it and invalidate all previous codes but the hotel safes had holes so they, they could be easily mounted to the wall or locked down and you could easily take a wooden dowel right through and poke that button and set it to reset. That's the exhaust port on the Death Star. Yeah. That's super easy vulnerability. Why would you leave that on there? We are similarly going to take advantage of a design flaw in there. Magnets, Brian, how do they work? <laughs> I had to. Greater I, I poets than us it. have asked such questions. <laughs> yes. I've seen this online multiple times. Now, this is the number one selling or one of the number one selling home fireproof safes in the country. So it's very, very common. I watched this guy do it. His name is Mr. Locksmith. There's a solenoid that I believe is like right here. What's a solenoid? A coiled uh, wire that acts as a magnet when an electrical current uh, is applied to it. Oh, it's a switch. Uh, uh, juice goes through and it goes click and, yep. and it shuts the switch. Uh, yes. Okay. That's what we're doing here, right? So this is locked and everything. So when we're doing this normally, what was it? Six, six, nine, five, six. Mm -hmm. You hear it click right up here yeah. and it's saying, okay, I'm now engaging your ability mm -hmm. to close this. And the thinking is you can trigger the same thing with, with a, magnet a magnet from the outside. It's gotta be up in here somewhere, right? Yes. No, it has to be in the door. This is a neodymium magnet or a rare earth magnet. It is rated at N42, so it has about 110 pounds of pull strength. Let's see if this works. Hunt around. Are you sure it pulls up? Did they mention which direction you needed to go? No, it was just, uh, he just kind of applied it and just- On, on the front? On the front. So it's yeah. not from a, okay. I just want to try rolling it around. Do you hear it? Here, ready? Hold on, ready? Go. Okay, okay. <laughs> calm, calm wow. down, brute force. <laughs> <laughs> I think whatever it is I'm pulling, I'm pulling it this way and you can hear it, right? Yeah. But that's the wrong direction. It sounds like uh, there's a reason he was doing it out oh, front. I think okay. it has to pull that way. All right. Oh, see, I can stop it from opening. That's wow, cool. Wow. Okay. This was what? Uh, you said an N64? It was an N64, <laughs> yes. Uh, that was an N42. Okay. What is this one? This one is an N52. Okay. The pull weight on this is 500 pounds. Oh my God, so it's five times as much. Yeah. I, this is like a Richter scale thing. Yeah. We're just 42 to 52, that's a big difference. So if this doesn't work, they have fixed these. Are you afraid of it? Well, I, I'm afraid of you handling it specifically. That's fair. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, right? that's a lot more. Yeah. Hopefully we'd be able to hear the click much earlier before it even... <gasps> Wait, what? No, 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 that was the timing out. Oh yeah, you're right. What? <laughs> From this far away? So you should not be able to open it. No. <laughs> okay. 
No. No. Oh my God. Do you want to crack it open? Yeah, I want to at least see okay. what's on the inside, right? You're going to cut your hand. <laughs> Maybe. In fact, look at this. It's a little invention called gloves. Maybe you heard of them? Not today, Satan. <laughs> okay, this is two left-handed gloves. Yeah, that was don't dangerous. Get, don't get your fingers that in was, there. That was dangerous. Let's not do that. Okay. All right. So this is a... Uh, This other magnet is not coming off of the big magnet. No, oh, what have you done? Uh, all right, well now we got two jobs. Here, put this here, turn it. Whoa, geez, <laughs> that did, there's a flaw in my plan. <laughs> yeah, <it> was... <laughs> Pretty soon we're playing Katamari Damas. I <laughs> just know, everything's bro. rolling around. Well, while we were in there, I was trying the metal <laughs> hammer. <laughs> right, I think we just have a new magnet that looks like that and is weaker now. Look at that. There's the solenoid. Okay, well here, we can at least get a proof of concept. I cannot believe it's all rinky-dink plastic in there. And so now you heard it release. Yep. And now that pins back on there. Uh-huh. Then. And now it's set again. But it's like, even then, this is such a tiny little peg. I actually wonder if you could just brute force this handle. This is probably why the, the handle's so floppy. So Don't you can't put a lot of leverage right, on it. Right, because if you put a lot of leverage on it, this seems like it could just break right off, or if not that, then this plastic. Oh, that was it. That was it, I saw it go in. You saw, I saw it go in too. I feel like maybe if the magnet was stronger. <laughs> yeah, the pressure on there is virtually nothing. Seems like just the slightest tug. Of course. There we go. Oh, I just wish. Oh, up, 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 up. It did, it did, it did the thing. Coming up from above. What? Look at this. Oh. So that means we have to come in from above. Okay. If we could separate these two fucking magnets, <laughs> it would totally work. Let's try some of those uh, those ninja discs. Ah, uh, okay. got it under All there. Right, yeah, I got another one here. Give me. Uh, let's get another one. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> That's <so> scary. <laughs> here we go. It's getting somewhere. It's getting looser each time. Ah. Uh, oh. Is something happening? Yeah, I think so. Get it. Yeah, get it. Please don't. Pull, Brian! No, no, hold on. Pull! Hold on. No, 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 quit around. Oh. Like, this could slice some up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're gonna keep it in the sock from now on. Keep, that's what they say. Just to be safe. That's what my dad always told me. <laughs> so keep one it in the piece sock. of advice I got before college. Yep. I'm so glad we took off this back because now I have a much better understanding yeah. of how little force it takes to get that pin down and exactly where it's gonna be. We're not setting the magnet and having this thing suddenly click right in. Right. But if the bulk of the pull is this direction on the outside, then it seems like the more you jiggle it, it seems like it might ratchet down. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. So we'll put this right over that guy. All right, now start jiggling. Here you go. Yeah, okay, so whatever it is, the spring is overcoming it. So here's halfway. Now, if we're doing it right. Oh, did it just work? No. It just worked. I put it down halfway. Here, uh, go ahead and keep jiggling. Uh, oh no, it went the other way. It did do it that one time, I swear. I'm gonna jiggle while you dance. You, okay. You move that guy around, and I'll keep on jiggling. Stronger spring, you think? Is I think it's a did? stronger spring, because it doesn't look like they moved anything. This is exactly the same as we've seen on other videos. And maybe there's some sort of material that they put into the door to magnetically shield it? I don't know. That's outside of my Yeah, me too. I'm set. just saying words that sound like they <laughs> might make sense. Hey, well, now we have a cool safe. <laughs> I don't want to say the safe is haunted, but uh, cursed? Uh, maybe. maybe. Bedeviled? Beguiled. And what do we do with cursed or beguiled things? We bring them to the killing pit. Yeah, what? Well, yes, and but 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 people need to know the whole story. We shot an entire episode. It was like three hours, and we got progressively stronger magnets up to an electromagnet that you brought. Now that electromagnet that Jason's referring to, 
is right here. And it has about 1200 pounds of pull force until you unplug it and then it doesn't. We tested it off camera and it had basically a zero effect on the solenoid. And all of shooting was going fine until somebody, not gonna say who, stuck the two magnets together. <laughs> That was such a pain in the ass. <laughs> then we forgot the code to the freaking thing. Which I have somewhere around. Oh, here it is, okay. Oh, no, no, I memorized it. Once we found it, I immediately came up with a, a mnemonic, you, you know, uh, crazy visual pictures are what mm -hmm. really make things land. I know that there are two elements. First of all, it's the emperor saying, execute order 66, right? Yes. 66 yes. is in there. Yes. And then the other part is 956, which is the area code to the Rio Grande Valley down at Harlingen and McAllen. So I picture him wanting to destroy <laughs> the Rio Grande Valley. All of the Valley. Jedi in the Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Valley of Texas. <laughs> They're all listening to Tejano music and he goes, execute order 66. So it's 66956. Boo! There it is. So what are we gonna do? What are uh, we gonna put in there? Well, we gotta put the money, Lebowski. Load it up with cash. Alright, hold on. This is alright. So this is uh this is ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I guess we'll put some up top. That's the septic system money That's, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you guys. to everybody who bought his shirt. Alright. We should explain that the magnet thing at one time did work. And yes. there probably are compromised units of these out there. It seems to me that what happened was this guy found a vulnerability. He posted a video about it. It went viral and then the manufacturer fixed it. Now we're gonna brute force this. We're, like, we're, gonna, we're gonna thermite this thing open? Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been an amazing end of the episode. Cursed, I tell you. Cursed. I hate you. Look at this. Great. If the magnet trick doesn't work and we want to be badass bank heist goons, then we need, I don't know, thermite or something to lance it open. There, there are two ways I can imagine to get in. One would be to like run a circle of thermite. And then the other is we talked about, this appears to be just a pin straight through. So if we're able to melt this top part, then you'd think we'd be able to bang this out and, and then just pull this open, right? In theory, these are good ideas. I was thinking that the hinge was gonna be our method of choice, but I like doing a little test run to see if we can carve it open, mostly because this is such a cool movie heist Are thing to do. Are you kidding me? Yeah, right? no, it's epic. Okay, here, let's get started. We got we got some uh, some modeling clay. So we're just making a little- uh, A little canoe. A little clumsy clay canoe. Uh, clumsy clay <laughs> canoe. <laughs> so we've talked about thermite before, how it's aluminum and rust, basically. And mm -hmm. what you're seeing is a rapid oxidation that brings it to molten iron levels. You essentially get lava, right? So the idea is whatever, this is probably steel. So if this is hot enough to cut through, then theoretically, number one, this method would possibly end up burning the money, and then you have the opening to RoboCop. And then to get this started, you gotta get really, really hot. Yeah, thermite is very stable. It is not explosive. It's more of a, a geyser of molten metal. Correct. I don't know how thick this is, but I'm not terribly optimistic about our yeah. chances on this one. I'm gonna get this clear. <laughs> And remember everyone, we don't want to look directly at it. It's like looking at welding, it uh, can I do- I mean, unless you are in a welder's mask. Unless you got a welder's <laughs> mask. If I remember correctly, it almost always goes out. <laughs> there, there it is. is, there it is. Dude, that looks legit as hell. We're like uh, bank heist villains. Wow, wow. I looked at the trap, Ray. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, Ray. Wait, we're both Ray in this situation. <laughs> Egon, you're Egon. Holy cow, look at this. Look, uh, dude, look, it's melting through right now, right is now. Is it? I got a little bit of an after image. Dude, uh, uh, <laughs> what's it's, it? it's all, it's not soft. Oh no. It's not soft, Ray. Oh, in fact, the thermite is hardening as it cools. Yeah, and so yeah, it's just no. adding an additional layer of metal. You know, like a blacksmith is slamming on a sword. Yeah. Like, it's like that now. So it's still, like, it's not putty. We can't get through it. Yeah. You wanna peel this off and see what it looks like? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Dude, I, here, I, I am gonna keep the uh, the clay boat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like mush marshmallows. Look at that. If we did this all the way around, this would definitely come up. Look how thin it is. 
oh yeah, but it's just that top layer. It's like how, dude, I think we could get in this now. So this is all the fireproofing because people who have stuff in here want to make sure that if there's, if their house burrs down. Is that asbestos? Probably not. It's probably a brick. If it's asbestos, that seems like that would be irresponsible of them or us. <laughs> yeah. either, either way. Do you want to try to get all the way in? Let's go for the pin. Okay, well here, in this case, we'll, we'll close it. Can we close it? Sure can, boss. I'm gonna say 100% reasonable that this is gonna get you all the way in. My only fear about going in through the top was burning the money, and I forgot that there's all that fireproofing material on the inside. Right, and right. now that I know that, I would absolutely do a whole circle around this, pop it off, and then just dig everything out and then get to the cash in there. Yeah. And I don't think you have to worry about the money catching fire. This is my favorite part. Like a C4? A little, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's on down. Oh, it's not gonna is stick. Is it not sticking? No. Oh no. There we go. That's an adhesive. Watch out. <laughs> don't, don't let it burn you. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. Oh, it actually works. Get some on the side here. I think we're gonna get it super hot and we're just gonna and try to gonna pop it off. off. And it's not gonna melt all the way through, but I think it might weaken it enough and hopefully the uh, the hinge will you slide just out. Break it off, yeah. Might as well get it on my hands. <laughs> we're super legit scientists. Great moments in modern <laughs> roguing. <laughs> There we, go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Holy cow. Do you think it melted the pin all the way? I don't think it did. I'm really surprised that the clay stayed on there. That's cool. Yeah. There we go. Be careful, because I don't want this to crack and throw yeah. steel everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Holy cow. All I did was knock off the, the iron. This thing. That's it. It's... That steel uh, was unfazed. This is probably tempered steel yeah. that's accustomed to retaining its shape at higher temperatures. It did more damage to the outside of the safe than it did the actual pin. I don't even know that it did damage to this safe. Oh, I, I think mean, you're right. That's just All the, of this is just, that's just 100%. The clay. Holy cow. So I'm going to say that the pin, which we thought was the weak point, turns out to be extremely strong. I guess that's one of the obvious places that people would attack is the hinge, and so they made that really reinforced. So let's just, let's just finish go it off, man, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna do more here, or are you just gonna do it here? You can see like there's no nothing to melt. This is all just basically brick that's okay. easy to ch chew through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep holding, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it. There you go. You can see it's cutting all the way through, though. How expensive do you think the rights to the Mission Impossible music is? <laughs> Out of our budget. I think this worked, Jason. I think we did it. We got a lot of uh, iron to get through. Yes! I want to come oh, in and wow. hold it. It's coming right down in there. Yeah, everything in here is just, is oh, wow. just brick. Yeah, it's like, Holy dry, hell. it looks like drywall. Ugh. Oh, it just breaks right through. Hmm. That sounds pretty promising. Dude, you can see it trying to bust through. Yeah. The, uh... So that's just the plastic directly right there. Yeah, do you yep. want to just try jabbing it in or yeah, something? Yeah, do it. Ah, I felt a crack. Yeah. I guess at this point, we just what? We cut a hole through it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Murphy! We can just use fire and melt the thing. All right, get in. Oh, it's just, uh, yep. Yeah, open it. Here, get it nice and wide. 
so you can. <laughs> You're just kicking all the money into the water. No. Oh. Okay. All right. Here. Here we go. Jo Jason. Jason. We're rich. We've done it. We're safe crackers. We're safe crackers. Yeah. Woo. Uh, dude. <laughs> it's a lot more work than I anticipated, but it is effective. Oh my god, it, it actually worked. I didn't think this top-down method would work, but, but it's astonishing how thin this material is that the thermite plowed right through it, and it took virtually nothing to get everything open. The big thing is we didn't burn the money. I mean, it's soaked. But yeah. we didn't burn it. We did have that problem, but had we had the door closed, it would have been fine. I was really surprised because I thought that the weak point was going to be the hinge, and it is not. This is a lot of work, but uh, it's totally doable, and the goods inside were unscorched. Yeah, I'm going to give this uh, a 9 out of 10 on, on efficacy, but not practicality. Obviously, not very practical, but if you stole a safe, or if you found a safe of your own. <laughs> Lost the we, code? We, yeah, exactly. This is a, a definitely legitimate way to get in. That was freaking great. <laughs> Good job, sir. High five. Now, what's what's the new job? What's the next game? Oh, the next. Oh, yeah. Uh, people in the comments, they got to tell us. Yeah. We got it. We got it. Uh, we've cracked safes now. Now let's tip our weight staff. There you go, gentlemen. Yeah. You guys did great. Hey, listen, why don't you get yourself something real nice? Take care of that. That's there you for go. you. There you go. That's the best That's for you. you. Here you go. Gentlemen, you did a good job. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no? No. No. Man. He's a man of principle. This is a professional. Almost. Are you starting from the very bottom? No, no, no. Just right up at the top. I just okay. want to get it. Proof of concept. All right. Oh! That's the way to do it. Okay, I'll do it from down here. Oh. <laughs>